so much fucked up shit to get into. Welcome back to Little Stinkers, baby. I am Michael fucking Rainey here with Jamine Del Calo. Hey, Mike. Hey, everybody. How are you, buddy? Good. Jacob How are Furman you? Matera. Hey, hey. Jeff Simmons. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome you. Thank you. Welcome you back here. Thank you. To your I, home. I am. I'm. I'm well rested. The police returned me. Excuse me. I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm teasing. I didn't I'm hear joking. the words. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I am due for a uh, police outing. No, no, you're not. I'm almost a decade out. One more year, and it will have been 10 years since the last time I was in cuffs. Let me ask you this. You just got a new skateboard. Do you think that's going to bring out the old bad boy? Nah. 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 He's it's all about positivity and the power of Christ. All right, yeah. I used to go to a missionary uh, skate park as a kid and try to pound Jesus down my throat. At least that's what he calls penis. <laughs> <laughs> yes That bad boy's still in there baby <laughs> Yeah shout out to Scuba Steve For sending me a fucking uh, toy machine deck That rules That's sick dude Gonna break my neck on that thing for sure Thank you <laughs> Yeah You're also due for a broken ankle I think Yeah no, I have, I have oh, strong man. ankles oh, Mike yeah. You're, you're yeah. returning to the wheelchair uh, ballroom dancing <laughs> oh. That's what we're gonna well, get It's gonna have to be my other leg <laughs> I'll bet you would have all kinds of national park stickers All over your wheelchair if you had one that would be nice. That would be, yeah. yeah. Just take them all off my cooler. Yeah. What's that one say? What a long, strange trip it's been. Wow. <laughs> Quit breaking my Yellowstones. <laughs> I'll buy you that one. Thanks. Uh, Jake, how you doing, buddy? Good, pal. You look good. Thank you. That's a lie, but I appreciate it. No, you do. I Thank you. I, I like when you have, uh, I like when you grow your hair out a little bit. Oh, man. Let's cut it off. No, it's, uh, are you really? Yeah, because I don't you... Starting to salvate over there like I'm an OnlyFans oh, girl. Yeah, yeah. I got to fucking take a video of this. So pretty <laughs> no, much don't. every Monday, Jake and I go to an open mic, and we always stand in the same pot, spot. It's um uh, along the staircase leading up to the room. Yes. There is a, um, what do you call that? Just like an overhang. Yeah, there's like yeah. an overhang that you can rest on. Mm -hmm. And Jake's always the first one up, and he, he rests on it. And There's a lot to keep dude, this up. I don't even do this voluntarily. I pass by him to stand to his right, and when I do, I lightly place my fingertips on his hips. He, he grabs, and it's all right. I, I do Is grab a little. Yeah, yeah. Does he have a nice touch? No. <laughs> if you were a lady, Dude, would it be nice? I, if I was a lady, then probably. But because yeah. you're not a lady, and you yeah. feel like your friend might be trying to get a boner yeah, behind you, I feel like that's what's yeah. going on. It's uh, try to put that out of your head and pretend to be a lady every once in a while. <laughs> Thank you, my John. friend Mike. Thank you, John. All right, you're welcome. I'll try. But, bro, you got it, and uh, I got to take a video of, like, my POV. So I'm going to put that up for people. <laughs> yeah, wear a, a, a head-mounted uh, GoPro when you <laughs> walk in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that thing is thanging, brother. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very tight spot that I should not be leaning over anything. I'll bet it is. You get a lot of, <laughs> a lot of scoomies? A lot of people saying scoomy when they come by you? No. Nah. No. Nah. It's mostly just, like... Autistic guys like not making eye contact and just going to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Maniac, huh? Yeah, yeah. Man, <laughs> you're gonna give me a, a, a both of us assassinated. You're like, yeah, we stand here on Mondays at this time. <laughs> uh, our dear friend Chris Wood has been joining us yes. lately, and oh, he's yeah. been he's been so fucking funny, man. Yeah, dude, he's a he's so f much fun to watch. Was that uh, that was Monday? Today's Wednesday. Didn't do great on Jeopardy on Monday or today, but I <laughs> no. did pretty good yesterday. I was oh. wheeling and dealing yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. Missed final Jeopardy today. It was fucking Wyatt Earp. Oh, I was I way off. I told you that. Yeah. It's Wyatt Earp Wednesday. Fuck, he's right. Do you watch this with your wife? Yeah. Is she good at Jeopardy? Every once in a while, but most of the time I, I mop the fucking floor with her. I know, man. Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> it feels so good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boys, uh, we have a special one tonight. So, John, why don't you flip that coin? I yeah, already know I'm going to win, man. I just, yeah, you there isn't a doubt boners? in my mind anymore that I'm going to win this coin toss. Wow. That kind of takes the suspense out of it, Mike. Don't give a fuck, man. Listen, <laughs> I'm working on my confidence, Jake. <laughs> yeah, well, it's starting to sound Damn. like cockiness to me. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I think it might bode well for me eventually. Let's see if it bodes well for me tonight. Lady wow. luck. Be with me. No. This is Lady Luck. 
Oh, no, that's my lady. lady Hey, that's my lady's face you're fucking. (laughs) Yeah, she sucks at Jeopardy, and she sucked on this. Whoa, you're talking about a specific lady now. No, no, that was indirectly disrespectful, and I regret my words. Hey, you're mixing up Lady Luck with my wife there, pal. I regretted my words instantly. (laughs) Lady Luck with the Glock Glock. Jake's losing oxygen again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a carbon monoxide leak just right just, here. Yeah, it's like a rain cloud. He's being haunted by a chin strap that never gets taken off. <laughs> so this is a special one tonight. Uh, some uh, One of our beloved patrons recommended this fellow, and it was a guy whose name I had seen a bunch of times, and uh, I never got into his story. I dug into it this past week, and a truly creepy little fucker. Mm, I like creepy little fuckers. I don't know if you're going to like him, man. It, when you see his picture, you're going to want to love him. But, man, this it, this fucking kid, and I I don't say kid as in, like, like hey, look at that. Hey, like kid, how you South doing, Boston? man? Like you said, your boy. Yeah, it's yeah. like I say as in kid, as in child, as in somebody who probably doesn't, doesn't have pubes when he starts committing murder. Whoa, it's not a real life Chucky doll, is it? No, he's... No, see, Chucky was a doll, and... Uh, I said he's Chucky about, doll. He's a he's a boy. Did I say chunky doll? <laughs> <laughs> I would like this to motherfucker see a chunky doll when he was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see a little fat little Chucky. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh man, just huffing and puffing, trying to chase you with that knife. I would like that. Yeah. All the diversity coming to television. I feel like we're going to see a season of Fat Chucky soon. <laughs> I don't know, man. I th- there's a show. There's I know. I think yeah. he's fulfilled his diversity quota with uh, being uh, such an ally. Is he? He is, yeah. Did not know that. Yeah, there's. I think it's an episode from the show where he's just talking about how accepting he is of of gayness. I'm not making this up either. He's like, so you don't say gay that gay. word. <laughs> <laughs> Goes on a killing spree. That's awesome. Ripped from the headlines of when Matt Damon said it his entire life up until a year and a half ago. <laughs> uh, but I guess he is kind of a a, a real life Chucky. And thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. So no, then yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> His name is <coughs> Cayetano Santos Godinho. Argentinian fella. Ah, I was going to say Polish. Um, well, parents were Italian, and they, they emigrated to Argentina. Okay. So he was born in Argentina. What, t- what year? Uh, 1896. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. Yeah. Old fucker. And you've heard of this little little fucker? I little have, yeah. Fucker. Yeah. Cause, uh, a little old fucking kid. <laughs> Occasionally, like, I'll just look up different keywords to find new stinkers. And uh, when I looked up youngest serial killer, he was one that popped up before. But now this little Indian kid's got him beat. There's there's in a kid who probably started killing when he was eight. I don't remember his name, though, but they made a movie about that. Tell kid. me what it is, Jake. Life of Die. I like that. Thank you. Thank that you, makes Mike. one of us. <laughs> that was good. Oh, is that a tooth? It's, that reminds me. All right, before I get into this fucker. <laughs> it rhymed, John. It's a pun that rhymed. Do you like puns that rhyme? I, uh, I don't remember saying that. All right, before oh, before we get into this Hold lifelike back, Chucky Jeff. doll. Yeah. What happened? Uh, fucking uh, our dear friend Rudy Moradian brought this to my attention, and I think I took a screenshot. <clears throat> no. But uh, Rudy pointed out how in the Robert Hansen episode, you mentioned... Riding a bus and finding a tooth. Yes. And a trolley. A disturbing trend is being established, Jake. I mean, that was out of, what, five years ago, maybe? So, also, I'd say teeth that's are pretty important. recent. Yeah. Teeth are important. That's all I can say. We need them to eat. And why do you keep yours in your pocket, you sick freak? <laughs> I, I wish I could tell you. I don't know. Yeah, all well, that space in his mouth, he's creating a molar system. All right, I'll take this. What? Thank you. Ah, <laughs> life of a die got nothing but... Nah, just something okay. to keep an eye on. I mean, we don't have to do anything with that information right. right now, but uh, we're probably sitting next to a tooth pervert. You should see all the ones I got at home. Jesus Christ, I'm going to barf. I have barf like a whole little you. Lego miniature sets made of teeth. Oh, man. So this uh, fellow, Caetano, guess what his nickname was? The Little Baby Killer. Not far off. Little Chunky. El Petiso Orojudo. El Petiso Aljudo? Orojudo. Orojudo. Ora, meaning gold? O-R-E-J-U-D-O. 
man. I'm lost. The yeah. big eared midget. <laughs> That's Wait, was he just a child or also a midget? He was a small fellow, small grown man. He ended up growing up to be five foot six. <gasps> However, he had some very mean older brothers who quickly bestowed that awful nickname upon him early and in his life. It stuck. Yeah, it did. And dude, his fuck look at this fucker's ears, man. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, what the fuck, man? That boy got a damn peanut head. Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> well, those brothers probably didn't help his uh rage issues. No, not at all, dude. Well, his dad was an alcoholic who beat the living shit out of him. His older brothers tortured him, too. Wow. When he was eventually arrested, they did a physical, and they counted 27 scars on his head. And he said that they were all from being beaten by his father and older brothers. God. And he was still a child when he got caught, you said? He was, yeah. Wow, so he started killing early. <laughs> You're on fire, brother. Now we're back. <laughs> Am I? Now we're back. <laughs> now, relative to the fucked up ears... His dad contracted syphilis, gave it to his mom. Damn. While she was pregnant. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a syphilis head. I was just, yeah. And I'm sorry. No, and he's that real? Bro, there's so many fucking ways that syphilis can fuck you up as a child. If you're uh, in the womb when your parent has it, when your mom has yeah, it. When yeah, you're, when you get syphiled, it can mess with your yeah. birthing. When, when your mom has it, she'll, she'll pass it on to you. And there's so many different ways that syphilis can fuck you up as a and child. And one way is tiny head, big ears. Uh, you could uh, develop enlarged spleen and liver. You could develop um, jaundice. Micropenis? I don't know if that's one. I think that's a separate issue, Jake. Macrotenis. <laughs> 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 but yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways where um, syphilis can affect babies. And uh, that's why I always encourage babies to use condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop playing. <laughs> this is a whole ass episode already. Um, but who knows? There's so many different ways that syphilis can fuck a kid up. And who knows if the ears are a by- byproduct of his dad's dick misgivings. I'm going to say yes. He was also sick a lot as a child. Uh, he had uh, enteritis. Did you ever hear of that? Yeah. Where it's like, it's like bowel you, disease? Yeah, it's like uh, an inflammation of your small intestine. And you usually get it from uh, fucked up living circumstances and like eating in shitty environments. Like uh, dirty wow. water kind of a yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Giardia probably related to that. Yeah. It has something that affects you your entire life or like you have spells of it. I think uh, it can be treated. Mm-hmm. But, but you're more like susceptible to like. I believe so, Jake. Okay. Yeah. I'd have to do more research to give you a definitive. <laughs> I believe I'm coming down with the disease right now. <laughs> I, I think you just ripped in a, a phone book in half. Uh, <laughs> Man, that fucking stinks too, brother. That's bad. I, hope, I really hope it doesn't. It does. I don't know why you would do that to me, Mike. Let me know when it hits you. You're so Dude. crude. Thank you. <laughs> I was so loud and his ears are so big, he could probably still hear that. Mm-hmm. You just did. I did it for him. I've <laughs> awakened him from his unholy slumber. <laughs> you think he murdered because he had a belly ache all the time? His old tummy was hurting? <laughs> I don't smell it, so you're far too I wish you'd come over here, man. But dude, get I this. Smell it now. Yeah, it's awful. Mm. Yeah, I wish you would have just taken a fucking shit before the show started. <laughs> I did. You should have sat down longer, I, Mike. I, I never understood why people equated farting with having the shit. After I take a serious? shit, my farts don't stink anymore. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's it how butts work. absolutely is. I don't think that's how butts work. <laughs> There's a correlation. I I refuse to believe it. This is information we could. I because I've been there where I'm like I can't stop farting, and then I go to the bathroom and everything's better, and then I don't believe it. There's other times where you're just farting, you know, all just whenever you want, and I don't know, Mike. I think you have a problem. I don't. I think, <laughs> dude, Jake. Sometimes I just like to fart. Sometimes it stinks because it stinks. Have you ever heard me fart once? No, because I'm not a fucking crude dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Simple, simple reason. <laughs> oh well, man! Tomato, tomato. Yeah, it sounds like you had some rotten tomatoes, my friend. There you go. Oh, here's a uh, doctor from Health.com. Your gas could smell worse because just like with bloating, air is getting trapped in your stomach, surrounded by poop, which just makes the air smell more before it's passed. Could, could. You're right. Right. Not does. 
<laughs> yeah, well, it's a pretty tiny room. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if it made its way over there. <laughs> yeah, you know what's bad when the guy wearing a Disney sweatshirt outside of Disney is complaining about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should rank high on the fart scale for sure. I, I, I love how, like, I feel like more and more that every individual in this room... Um, it, there's like different betting odds for who's going to be the serial killer at one point. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's just like, all right, for, for the, for the longest time, the worst bet was you because you're the sweetest individual. But now brother, you're producing teeth like a fucking magician <laughs> produces <laughs> coins from behind fucking bitches ears. Is he making them in his pocket? How's he have so many of them? Oh, and I've seen Jeff wear Disney shit here like 15 <laughs> times now. So he he's rising up the ranks. So I feel like I'm still playing it pretty cool. I don't know if you're cool. You are. I've yeah. accused, I've I've confirmed your coolness before. I would say he's more like the Cincinnati Bengals of the serial killer race we're having. You're the Chiefs. I I would probably be the 49ers and Jeff would probably be I don't know, the Dark Horse, the Lions. Dark Horses would be a good football name. It would be. For a team that fucking lost every single year. Mike, it still smells. I would like <laughs> to reinstate my comment about uh, Lady Luck sucking my <laughs> hog. Comment re-institution, uh, not certified. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Try again. John, you're going to hate to hear this because this is really going to make you feel for the big-eared midget. In 1901, he starts going to school. He quickly gets expelled for behavior issues. He gets kicked out of numerous schools to the point where they're just like, let him roam wild during the day. He's five years old. He is. Like, as soon That's as he got crazy. to kindergarten, he's yep. getting kicked out. Yep. And he's just roaming the fucking streets. He's illiterate as well. well most five-year-olds are. But, I mean, with ears that big, you should be able to pick up something. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, Mike, you don't read with ears. <laughs> I know you wish we could. I know you pray to God that we could every single night. John, have you heard about audible.com? <laughs> yeah, this motherfucker ain't read a book since, since the internet came out. I'm going to miss one right now. Good one, too. No, you do read a lot. You're a big reader. Thank you. Do you ever listen to your uh, information books? Um, I usually listen to a biography to fall asleep to every night. Is it ever regarding the um, the stinker you're no, researching? I can't sleep okay. with that shit. Like I like I like whimsy when I settle down for the night. Like, do you think that insults whoever biography you're listening to? That that's what you choose to listen to before their I, life story is what you decide to fall asleep. No, to? I don't. And I actually like uh, I think it speaks more to the narrator having like a soothing voice. I yeah. think so too, and that, yeah. that's a big part of it. I was just talking to my wife today. Like, there's there's a project that I want to do. I want to do an interview podcast. I I like learning about people. Um, I like just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with people, and one of my objectives is to create such a um, such a chill feeling that people can fall asleep to it. I think that's a compliment that you know it's something comforting to people. Would well, you change NPR your voice? Action. Yeah, kind of. I would. Um, well, my N would stand for something different, and so would my R and my P would too. <laughs> <laughs> but I will go with NPR. I like all those. <laughs> <laughs> would you Would you adjust your voice for like the sleep? Podcast? Would you I would scream at one point during, the podcast, during every podcast. You will get a scream and you don't know when the fuck yeah. it's coming. There's somebody in the house! <laughs> They're sitting right next to your bed! So you graduated college in 2003, is that correct? <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be coming down the pipe. But yeah, this poor kid, he's kicked out of schools and he's forced to wander the streets. Now, in 1904 is when he really starts getting into some bad stuff. So he's fucking eight at this point. He lures a two-year-old with candy. Jesus Christ. Any two-year-old's going to take the candy. <coughs> you know good and goddamn well, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> Any 30-something-year-old's going <laughs> to follow you if you yeah. got candy. How many, yeah. how many he steps? lured a 42-year-old Jake. <laughs> <laughs> how many steps do you think you would take before you thought something was up? If, like, an, an eight-year-old boy with massive fucking ears <laughs> was peeking around a corner from a building and said, uh, Tootsie Pop? Hey, I got all pink Starburst bag. What? It's over here. How many steps would I take? Yeah. 
I'm let that little fucker hit me in the head upwards of a dozen times before I started counting <laughs> steps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would. I wouldn't count steps. I would count turns. Two mm-hmm. turns, and okay. then I'd be like, "All right, that's too many. All right, uh, too many turns." That's a good theory for life. Yeah. Yeah. Two turns, infinity steps. Mm-hmm. If there's a million mile hallway, he would walk down it. Now I know how to trap your ass. That's beautiful. That sounds like a Vanessa Carlton song. <laughs> <laughs> And I would eat. Delete a that part. Thousand <laughs> uh, she was always a beauty in my eyes. I loved her. Vanessa Damn, Carlton. she's fucking mid. She's like a four, dude. What? <clears throat> she got a weird face. Oh, God. Look who's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Another oh, favorite movie of mine. <laughs> Zap! Oh, no. Weird face Del Carlo was talking. Poo, <laughs> uh, <laughs> baby. Quick, Jake, say something. <laughs> Hi, you guys. <laughs> but, dude, this is the most fucking... All right, so he's eight. The kid's two. Mm-hmm. So he starts beating this kid, and he Jesus pushes Christ. the kid into a ditch. Fortunately, there's Just a cop around. Stupid fucking ears. <laughs> Sorry. There's a cop around. The cop sees what's happening, and the big-eared midget is able to convince this cop. He's eight. The kid's two. Yeah. He's able to convince the cop that this was just a fight between the two boys. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think the cop does? Oh. Arrest the two-year-old and shoots it to death, probably. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> Wait, a cop uh, probably told the two-year-old to stop resisting, drop the candy, and blew his fucking brains out. Is that what happened? <laughs> He's got a gun. <laughs> oh, my God, it's a teething ring. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a gum. <laughs> <laughs> he bit me. He's teething. <laughs> so the cop... Puts both of them in the car. <laughs> Does he handcuff his or ears? Actually, he brings them both. I don't know if he had a car, but okay. he brings them both back to the police station, contacts their parents, has their individual parents come to get them. Was the fucking two-year-old <laughs> carrying a wallet? Yeah, how does he know who the parents are a two-year-old? <laughs> My Dude, parents I, I, are Gugu and Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> they live on 123 Sesame Street. Can you find them? <laughs> I'm guessing they eventually came to the police station because a two-year-old was missing. Yeah. All right. Hey, has anybody seen like a two-year-old baby? <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> so the parents, they come get each of the kids. All right. Um, not long after that, all right, there's another incident, this time involving an 18-month-old. And so the big eared midget, still eight years old, he's similar situation where he's luring a kid with candy. Dude, what is with these toddlers and infants roaming the streets by themselves? <laughs> like, like, like cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, Argentina at the turn of the century was a wild place, it sounds like. <laughs> we have a toddler problem here in, in Argentina. Yeah. Yeah, frozen toddlers <laughs> falling out of the tree whenever it hits less than 50 degrees. <laughs> the same situation unfolds. Um, he's beating a, a, a little baby. A cop comes along because he hears a ruckus. And again, the kids are taken to the police station. All right, this is the second time he's been taken to the police station yeah. for beating a child. And I think they just they're like, chalk it up to him being an unruly child. It's hard to be mad at a kid with a physical deformity. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you some. Tell me if you can get mad. Two at babies, let it slide. But third baby is the child. Shame on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jake, where would you draw the line with uh, baby beatings? Probably immediately. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> probably where I would draw it. That was my favorite Quibi show. I'm teasing you. I would never watch that. I wouldn't even watch eight minutes of it. Probably immediately. Eight minutes. Now that's a quick bite. <laughs> Man, they lost a lot of money on that. Oh, man. 1906 rolls around, so now at this point he's 10. He commits his first murder, Jake. He kills a three-year-old girl. Is this... um, I'm I'm assuming the root of this is because as a child, he was getting beat up. Yeah. And he's just beating up as soon as he's stronger than anybody, just beating up anybody that's weaker than him. Yeah. Insane that he was probably a three-year-old getting his ass beat, Mm -hmm. and now he's doing the same thing. I know. But if that is the case, someone that young, it is kind of hard to be like, you should know better because that's yeah. all he knows. Yeah. But it's obviously still fucked up. At the same time, it's if, if you're already resorting to that, you're probably irredeemable. My favorite Beyonce album. Is that the country album that just came out? No, I haven't listened. I refuse. Oh. But Jake commits his first murder. He's, he's nine, right? <clears throat> He's nine, the girl is three. 
uh, he strangles and beats her. And her body is never found. Eventually, when he admits to this, dude, when he gets arrested, he admits to everything. He's he's unremorseful. However, he does admit to everything. And he tells the police where the body is. However, where the body was buried, a house had been built on top of that location since the time of the murder and the time he was caught. How long of a time span was that? All right, so that was 1906. So this was 1912 where he was caught. So in a span of six years. A house was built on that vacant lot. So this was just a missing child for six years. Yeah, dude, this is this is like one of the most fucked up aspects. So before he was even caught, that little girl's parents, they were also from Italy. They moved back to Italy just assuming she was missing, which seems nuts to me. Yikes, dude. They're not winning any Parent of the Year awards. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's, that's terrible. Yeah. Oh, my God. Why? I don't know. I Tax think, breaks. Yeah. <laughs> I think if one of my cats ran away, I would not move from this house. <laughs> yeah, dude. You'd be out putting fucking signs on telephone poles every single fucking day. Yeah. Asking people, hey, I know there's a lot of kids running around in diapers in the streets here, but if you see one that looks like this, you probably didn't even have a picture back then. I thought we were still talking about cats. You want to keep talking about cats? No, I'm good, man. All I've, right. Yeah, let's drop the cats then. Let's get back to Meowder. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this is great. So uh, nobody knows that he killed this kid. All right. The same fucking year. Um, did you know masturbation was illegal in Argentina during that time? No, but thank God I wasn't there at the time. Because <laughs> I'd be serving life, Mike. <laughs> yeah, brother. Other hand. <laughs> I'm left handed. No! <laughs> Dude, his mom takes such umbrage with him jerking off that she rats him out to the police and they send him to juvenile hall for chronic masturbation for two months. Shut up. I will not. He beats up two babies. Goes to the police station. Oh, he's just being a kid. Then he starts jerking off to like, wait a minute. But I, I <laughs> to mean, jail you go. I mean, the two beat up babies pale in comparison to the beat off babies. Has such a law ever existed anywhere else in the Why 1900s? was it implemented? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. How many, I, how many kids do you think turned themselves in? I don't know if they had time, man. Got caught red-handed at the jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> I Dude, I mean, in their defense, I remember being a problem when I started jacking. Yeah. But do they know what happens in jail? Yeah, they're gonna start butt fucking each other. I know, but sometimes like you just need a break. You know how like sometimes like um, <laughs> jail's not the place for that. <laughs> but Jake, hear me out, man. You know how they they put you in the drunk tank overnight. I've like, heard about. You're it. gonna drink again. However, the people around you just need a break. The problem will get worse, but just for one night, they can sleep easy, knowing they don't have to smell bleach. You think semen smells like bleach? We're gonna go over this again. You need to get whatever connects your brain to your nose checked out. <laughs> so what is the problem? My brain, my nose, my asshole, my... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep counting, bro. <laughs> one, two, three. You got a lot of problems. But a bitch ain't one. <laughs> Jake. So he does his little two months, and he comes back with a vengeance. What do you think he does to get back at his parents for locking him up for Jack? And... I feel like Jack's off in front of him. Jake sounds like something you've been thinking a lot about. Um, I'm going to say he fucking murders one or both of them. He murders his father's pet bird. Not only kills this fucking bird, but cuts its eyes out. And puts it in a shoebox next to his dad's bed. (laughs) I am fed up with this little shit. (laughs) Was Was it like a cockatoo or something like that? Like one of those? I don't know. Like, ah, he's jacking off again. Like, 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 oh, yeah. my yeah. God. Yeah. Was it a I fucking would, yes. stool pigeon? Yeah. <laughs> In this case, I would have definitely yeah. done the same. That, that bird saw something he should not have seen. Right? I don't like the look in his eye. <laughs> All right, I'm back on his side at this point. 
Fast forward to 1908, he tries to drown a two-year-old Jake. <laughs> a man that was working in a building that he owned overheard a commotion by this body of water, um, saw the big-eared midget fussing with a small figure. So the guy yells out, then the guy runs downstairs, runs out to the waterfront, and he says, what the fuck are you doing? And the big-eared midget goes, oh, you didn't see the lady in black? What the fuck are you talking about, man? He's like, a lady in the black emerged from the bushes and was fucking with this child. And I was trying to help the child. The kid's fucking too, so what's he going to say? The lady, in, is this like a vision he's having? Or this is just a made-up story? No, he's making up a story to, yeah. to get himself out of trouble. And by helping the baby, he was uh, depriving it of oxygen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's so how you help a baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you I imagine just being a, an adult man yeah. being told what's up by a 12-year-old with giant ears? Like, <laughs> yeah, just fucking lady in black came by, dropping the baby. You can move along, pal. I mean, in everybody's defense who overlooks this kid's crimes, I imagine once he starts moving his lips, all you can concentrate on <laughs> yeah, are these fucking head flappers just yeah. glowing yeah. in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene in Austin Powers. You're like, don't say mole. Don't say mole. Like, about, about his ears. <laughs> so, he doesn't get in trouble for that either. And around the same time, Jake, he's just a little, a little fucking dipshit rabble rouser. He, uh, they don't catch him, but he admits to this. He sees a woman uh, sitting on a bench with a uh, baby carriage next to her. Mm -hmm. And he's a smoker. He's a little smoker. Hmm. He walks up to the baby and uh, burns its eyes with the cigarette before taking off. Dude, what the fuck are Argentinian parents doing? Well, this is an Italian parents, right? Because they moved there yeah. from Italy. I think it's hard to lump them in. Well, Argentinian parents, they're letting all these kids loose. Yeah. The saying. Italian yeah. parents are the ones with, oh, with yeah. the fucking oh, yeah. killer kid. Right, right, right. But, like, all these babies are unattended. Like... How do you have the opportunity to put a cigarette in a fucking baby's eyes? Seriously. I ever. bet I bet I could do it to any baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we got ourselves a 2024 challenge this here. This is a Mr. Beast challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we rounded up a thousand babies just to see if we can burn their fucking eyes I out. I started smoking camel lights. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't fault this lady. Like, the mother was with the baby. However, if... You don't expect a nine-year-old to creep up on you with a lit cigarette. He's 12 at this point. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. The second you see a fucking still, little kid smoking, you're like, that's bad news. And I would honestly, yeah, I would it, assume something's up too because he is a weirdo. But if they're walking by, you're like, oh, they're not going to, you know what I mean? Like, unless they're like, give me that fucking baby, I'm going to fucking burn his fucking he did, eyes out. He did both eyes. Yeah. Yeah. You get in there quick. One, two, yeah. one. Maybe he's just that good. Yeah. <laughs> what if he, all right, This this might be how he did it. Maybe if he was just like, oh, what a cute baby. Can I pick him up? And he had the cigarette in his mouth. And he leaned down. It's like, oh, accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I made a double accident. <laughs> double cigarette accident. Oh, uh, double accidente. <laughs> Lo siento. And uh, you'll like this, Jake. Oh, he was also known for torturing cats. Did I tell you that? I don't no, like that. you missed I don't that, like that one. At all. Uh, I was just, I was uh, worked up about my own cats. Um, God forbid. They ever get loose. One did get loose. We found him like an hour later one time. I was back in this room <coughs> tearfully <coughs> typing up a reward poster. And, or so a reward dollar amount. Document. A thousand bucks. <laughs> thousand bucks for your fucking cat? Uh, chill. Dude, I'm going to steal these fucking cats on the way out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like I just made 3,000 bucks the easy way. <laughs> <laughs> Not even leave the block, just be holding three cans. <laughs> as soon as he puts the poster up, I show up. Uh, Siri, call Mike. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I found all three. They were in my coat the whole time. <laughs> anyway, where's the reward? <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, there, there's a fence between uh, my neighbor's property and mine. And um, he had jumped out the side window over here. He'd probably chasing a, a bird or something, a raccoon mm -hmm. or squirrel whatever they like yeah uh because when i woke up the screen was broken so he had obviously gotten around there he only went around back of the house must have gotten spooked because he was sitting on top of the fence when my daughter found him wow and as i was typing up this this uh reward poster i heard them everybody yelling outside that they got him wow what a story 
<laughs> I was I was enthralled by it. Thank you. I was I was into the very end. Holy shit! It was on the fence. <laughs> Whoa! Never seen a cat up there. <laughs> Fucking idiot! Oh god! <laughs> when your dogs go missing, <laughs> bro, take my dogs tonight. I hate their guts, dude. They shit and piss inside constantly. I'm gonna add more dogs to your house. <laughs> Now that would be evil of you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I want to put my dog in there, dude. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like your dog might take care of my dogs. <laughs> for every cat I reward you with $1,000 for, <laughs> I will curse you with another dog. It's fine. <laughs> I have three grand to fucking, and I'll sell those dogs. <laughs> sounds like I found uh, into a nice little passive income stream here. <laughs> <laughs> Going in the dog debt. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Yeah, I'm not good with pets. Uh, but Jake, he gets heavier into fire now. So he's um, later teens. He's 16 now. He's, he sets a warehouse fire. Damn. And people are starting to notice anytime bad shit happens, he has a tendency to be in the area. So he's questioned about this this um, this warehouse fire. Classic arson style. He's standing there watching it burn. Probably jacking off, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, send that guy to jail for jerking off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, did he start the fire too? We don't care about that. Dude, uh, doesn't it seem like you don't hear about fire jerkers anymore? It seemed like an 80s crime, right? Wait, people would like really set a fire and watch it while they beat off? Yeah. Am I just making that up? No, no, it's a real thing. Yeah. Maybe they just stopped reporting it and uh, there's no more copycats, you know? <laughs> Damn sloppy cats. <laughs> <laughs> what is the sexual appeal of fire? Maybe like fireman. Maybe he's gay. Well, that's fireman. part of it, dude. Well, that's part, dude, <laughs> that's it. I figured that's it out. That's a good uh, accusation for any fire jerkers out there. You guys just want firemen around, huh? Dude, they, when they asked him, when they questioned him about this warehouse fire, they said, um, uh, "You know, wh- why were you standing here? What do you? What, what do you? What purpose could you have in just hanging out watching a fire?" Yeah, he said, uh, "I like to see firemen working." It's nice to see how they fall into the fire. Jesus Christ. How they fall into the fire? How they fall into Yikes. the fire. Now, to answer your question, why do people jack off to them? Fire is intoxicating. Yeah. I think they get off on seeing, like, the damage they're creating. And, like, the thrill of, like, setting the fire. Nobody knows who did it, but there's a giant blaze. You you sit around a campfire and you're watching, like, the beautiful thermal movement. Yeah, I used to love setting fires. Yeah, no shit, man. And I still exactly. love campfires. What are you mad at him for? So yeah, he's just I'm a level at, higher than I'm you. I'm mad at uh, the the rush of blood to the penis that occurs. They got wired wrong. By God, as as much as you appreciate a good fire and how soothing that is to you, you don't think if you whipped your hog out and started cranking it, that would double your pleasure. I'll have to give it a try, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got. <laughs> when you put it like that, I guess I'll just have to try it. And uh, to this point, because we're not done with it yet. If your problem <laughs> is jacking off the setting fires and jacking off to them and you're getting in trouble for arson, why not just get a fireplace, man? <laughs> yeah, that's not cheap, dude. Maybe a fire pit, but it doesn't sound like his parents were gonna Then you gotta him chop that. wood, you gotta fucking or get gas and then that's an extra utility, you know. You just set something yeah. on fire. And just go jerk off on the street. Jake, we had a problematic fireman around here. Do you remember him? I don't. Yeah, he was doing a... Uh, pretty bad stuff i think he was setting fires and he was also a molester the worst kind of fireman would he like set the fires that he was in the neighborhood to be on the uh fire crew that would put it out he was a volunteer firefighter so he would set a fire and then go and put it out with his buddies i have to double i'm definitely sure about the molester part but i may have lumped him in with an arsonist (laughs) but i'm pretty sure he was doing both and he Remember, it's it's a big you, accusation. Do you remember the cartoon Shirt Tails? He looked like a shirt tail. No, I don't even know what no. that is, Shirt Tails. This man. this was a goofy little fucker who I always saw lur- lurking around the goddamn school. Oh, man, the orphanage is on fire. Kids, run out. <laughs> That's what he was doing? Hang on, he's looking up Shirt Tails so we can get a nice oh, look at that. Go. Look. Oh, my God. Yeah, it looks like it. No, that's not him. Oh, that's, a, that's another one. Oh, molesting Whoa. a 15 year old boy. Okay. At the firehouse. What an appropriate last name for a public masturbator. 
Beat man. So no more shirt tails. I do. So this is the shirt tail that he looked. The blue shirt tail. Damn, that is some '70s shit right there. He looked like that. And if you could carry the conversation for another minute, I'll find this kid's picture. Speaking of shirt tails, remember snorkels? Like the things you wear in the water. The cartoon. It was like a spinoff of the Smurfs, almost. Almost. No, I've never. I don't even know what these people look like. They were underwater. Their faces was a snorkel. Okay. And um. They were just like snorkeling around and stuff. You're making this up. I'm yes, not. Yes, you are. I'm not. Snorkels is a real it. thing. Why are you doing this? I'm not I, joking. Uh, I ain't joking you. Snorkels. 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 I don't believe it. One, Bro, one it might have been called snorks. Ducktails? S- yeah, maybe you remember it as Remember the sharks? Snorks. What was the sharks one that I used to always watch? Street sharks. Street sharks. Oh, man, cool. those guys. Now, if we're going to talk about hockey, off. too. Yeah. Street hockeys? Right. <laughs> I may have oh, to come back to this because I can't. Oh my god, find it's a real follow. thing. Yeah, they dude. look like sperm. Well, you and got your spider. head in the gutter. You pervert. I can't find them right now, but I'll get them back to you. Okay. So our our friend, the big eared midget, was setting fires, and he gets called out this time. So he's at least on police radar. Uh huh. Right. He's getting older now, late teens. Uh, he ends up attacking a thirteen year old. Same mo, strangle, beating. Does it in an abandoned building. Um, the next murder coming up is probably the most disturbing. There's a five-year-old girl looking in a shop window at a pair of shoes. She's wearing a dress. God, I hate this kid. The big eared midget sneaks up behind her, sets her dress on fire. Um, it quickly goes up. And as she's burning, her grandfather's sitting across the street. He runs across the street to try to help her. As he's running across the street, he gets hit by a car and is killed. Oh, my God. It's fucking awful. And that's like a great ending to a movie, but also, that's a lot of shit right there. It is. The midget wasn't driving the car. <laughs> that little rascal got behind the seat of a, of a damn automobile that quickly. <laughs> He was not, man. Okay, that's <laughs> still fucking yeah. crazy. Jesus Christ. He doesn't get caught for that one either. All right, the girl ends up, uh, uh, a policeman ends up tackling her, ends up putting her out, but her, at that point her burns are so severe man. that she eventually succumbs God. to her injuries. That fucking sucks. Uh, unfortunately, Jake, he's got one more murder in him. So December of nineteen twelve. Can we can we get through one more, Jake? This is this is how, a rough one. How did it he is, did he like set her on fire and run away immediately? Kind of thing. I'm guessing he doused her in some kind of chemical first for it to oh, be able to man. take the way that it did. Yeah. No, there's some flammable fabrics. If it's really? a dress, yeah, sure, the, yeah, the frilly stuff goes mm-hmm. right up. It does. Yeah. How do you know that, Jake? I, I got to get the teeth somehow. Let's just say the guy got moved around Catholic schools a couple times as a kid. <laughs> me or big, bigger midget <laughs> words are hard so Jake in December of, of 1912 uh, he kills his final victim the final victim is a three year old boy that he lures into an abandoned building uh, he beats him and uh, he's hitting the kid in the head with a hammer Jesus man he wants to put a nail in the kid's head so he leaves the building, and at this point, as he's walking back to his house to get a nail, he runs into the boy's dad who asks him if he saw the kid. Oh. He's like, no, I didn't see the kid. And eventually he goes and gets his nail. He comes back. I don't know if the kid had already been dead at that point or not, but he takes the nail and he hammers it into oh the kid's skull. Oh, God, no. I didn't think the fucking, last one was going to be so bad. Fucking sucks. He braced us for the one before, and then that one just... Yeah. Who? Fuck. What a little piece of shit. Is that sage to light right now after all that terrible information you gave us? Yeah, you can light it up, brother. Go ahead. I need to be saged. So, oh, but it gets worse. Uh. So he ends up going to the viewing for this little kid. And um, he w- goes up to the casket and he runs his hand over the nail wound. And witnesses see this. Yes. What the Does fuck? Does it cause any alarm in no. them? No. However, the day after that, he is arrested. 
Were there witnesses? Or they just finally narrowed they it down? They piece it together, and they arrest him. And this is 1912, so he is 16. He's 16, he's caught. He confesses to four murders. He tells them everything. He's like, there were five others that I attempted to kill, but they got away. Um, was he, like, pressured to say it all, or he just... No, it? he just spilled it out. Oh, I think... Ah, like Chunk in the Goonies. Back to Chunky. A little Chunky. It's a Chunky. I one time when I was five. I- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he tells them everything. Uh, not remorseful, however, he is forthcoming. And the owners of the house... Remember I mentioned earlier how they built the house on top of the plot of land where yeah. the one uh, corpse was? They refused to have their... their their house fucked up for the sake of looking for this body, which I don't necessarily disagree with. It doesn't seem like that should be their decision. As long as the, the like it's the covered, fucking government can override that and but, be like. But you're also taking the word of a big-eared murderer. It could be to a have lie. Your house ruined. It could just be somebody he doesn't like. I would lie about that for you. Oh my god! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you. You're my true boy for that one. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I hope this kid gets like some kind of brutal early 1900s killing. Eventually, so he's sent to a reformatory. He's he's underage. He's eventually declared legally insane. Uh, so he goes to an asylum for a while. However, in 1923, he's sent to prison. They're like, "Fuck this guy! He's going to prison." He gets sent to prison, and he gets his ass beat because there's cats roaming around the prison, and prison guys just like. They like care for them, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even today, like there's a lot of prisons that will allow you to have cats. Although I think in this situation, it was just more of a case of like there's just cats in that area, and there's it's not as secure as yeah, cats and fucking three year olds just roaming around everywhere <laughs> yes. again. Like Bunch of prisoners just petting the children. <laughs> 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 but there, there's this one's cat- Siamese. Oh. <laughs> there's cats all over this fucking prison, so the prisoners take care of them. Yeah. However, the big ear fucking midget. You know his track record with mm-hmm. cats. He sets two of them on fire. Man. Oh, they're not going to like that one no. bit. So they nearly beat him to death when he does this. He eventually recovers from those injuries. It takes him a while. However, in 1944, he dies mysteriously. So he's in prison for over 20 years. Wow. Before he finally dies mysteriously. But did he get punished for the cats? Like. Lighting them Beyond on fire? the ass beating? I don't know. Like, did he have to serve nine live sentences? <laughs> I do like that, Jake. Jake's here. Jake showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Died mysteriously. That sounds kind of shady, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. In Argentina, this is uh, towards the end of World War II, and they were about to become a refuge for ex Nazis. Huh. Timing. Do you think they had to fold his ears in to fit him in the casket? I think it was just wider at the end. <laughs> that would be. They a- buried him on his side. <laughs> <laughs> so they just opened the casket. He's got a, a smushed right ear. Man, what a I like. I want wonder if it if if it was him or all the head injuries he sustained he sustained from his like brothers at a certain point. You know, you, you, you can't even. He yeah. was also born on Halloween. What? Yeah. You didn't tell us that. I'm sorry. You withheld that information. I'm pretty sure I told you that. Pretty sure I said Halloween, 1896. Damn it. Play it back. I don't believe it. <laughs> All right, we're going to start over. <laughs> well, dude, I wonder if the the baby's roaming thing has anything to do with, like, daycare prices. Because it's expensive. It is. Now it's expensive. Yeah, but I don't and know. And inflation was... back then, you know, if it was a nickel, that was probably very expensive. I feel like a lot of ladies weren't even working at that point. Ah, yes. Here's what I don't understand, Jake. You mentioned how daycare prices are through the roof. If I had a baby now, I would not pay for daycare. When I would go to the office, I would dress my baby up in a little suit and let him wander. <laughs> this is boss baby. <laughs> I hired my own assistant. Don't worry. It's coming out of my pocket. <laughs> he will be sitting with me and sucking for my teat every now and then. <laughs> Do you think you got to paint your titty to look like a phone to make it seem like he's on the phone and working? <laughs> he's making a deal. 
<laughs> I have mine painted like a zoom screen. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, the big eared midget. Caetano Santos Godino. Fuck that guy. Yeah, a real fucker of a kid. Little bitch, man. Would you have rather that he lived and had to suffer the pain from his uh near death ass beating? Or would you rather they had just finished the job? I like when they're just gone, man. Yeah. I think I think sometimes like people are just so bad for this world that the world is just a better place without them and I don't I don't I don't even want to drag out their suffering. I think they should just be gone. Yeah. I wish he had suffered more and to death. I would I would um assume that he was probably butt fucked pretty hard. Could God, you imagine God, like, I hope so. butt fucking somebody with Ears like that. Yeah, the fucking grip. You can get on the side of that goddamn head. I'm like a fucking jackhammer in here, baby. You guys seeing this? I ain't never stroked so good. Del Calo, your wife's here. <laughs> All right, I'll be right out. What? <laughs> you know, somebody walked by a cell and was like, what What them ears do? <laughs> That's nuts, man. Dude, it's... um. I mean, you two going to prison would be an absolute buffet for those perverts. A buffet? I think I would fit right in, but, like, you two would be, like, a honey-baked ham being rolled into the fucking cell block. Because of my luscious body or my luscious locks? Uh, Well, you do have nice hair, but those beautiful eyes. And, Jake, you have a very pretty eyes and a sweetness to you that is um, incalculable. Man... Thank you, Mike. I watched a video of a bunch of prisoners all just clapping hands. Have you seen this? What does that mean? They're just legit clapping hands to hear the sound it makes to pass the time. They're all just like, they're doing handshakes and they're getting this sound. And they're like, ah. That's uh, kind of cool. Like, I like that. Oh. Like getting the best pop you can. Yeah. 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 yeah and I every, do that. And love every, getting yeah. a big pop with my boy, all dude. All ethnicities, all, like everyone was just doing it and everyone's like, ah. Yeah, like it was. I was like, "This is wholesome as shit." Dude. One person actually yells out, "I'm so glad we're not butt fucking each other right now." Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <ruins> so <laughs> oh wait, we forgot about that. <laughs> wait a minute, if I thrust my hips into your cheeks, I can make the same sound. Wait a minute, Jake. <laughs> Guys, let's go back to this. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd be protected. That's no. what I. Yeah, I. Know, I think I would. By what? Jake, you would have to get a swastika tattooed on your face day one, <laughs> or you would be smoked by every single ethnicity in there. Uh, Dude, I think you I, would look good with a swastika. Uh, no, stop, stop. <laughs> I would not. I don't want one. I I think I'd be protected like the baby Yoda in the Mandalorian. Never watched the show, but I think that's the the premise of it. Yeah. He's like a little football to carry around. Yeah, they'd be grabbing your ears and being like, good head this is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please don't use the force. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. Yeah, that was probably the worst analogy I could have made. Baby Yoda? Yeah. <laughs> he was cute for a while, man. A little baby Yoda? Yeah. Yeah. You know what they should have? In that, uh, what was it, Hollywood Studios that has the big Star Wars area? Mm. They should have, like, a little baby Yoda going around. Yeah. You know? They they have, even if it's just a little I robot know. that comes around on one know. of the, um, like, a little baby wheelchair thing. I think the reason why they don't is because people would trip over him. Ah. Uh, True. Fuck. Maybe have, like, a couple of spots around the park where he just, like, pops up, you know? Mm -hmm. Like a little Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. They That's used good. to have... I thought he was here. Oh. I mean, they still have stormtroopers roaming around. I don't know if they still speak anymore because there was a platform from which they spoke, and one of the phrases they w they would repeat uh, is uh, they would point at a person and, and they'd say, you look like trouble, mm -hmm. which can be problematic at a certain point. <laughs> Why aren't they saying it to certain races? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see where everybody was getting those... Um you look like you don't use crosswalks. <laughs> <laughs> I never use crosswalks. Wait, he said, it, he said it to a Chinese so, uh, yeah, woman. You look like you have problems pronouncing the word alcohol. 
<laughs> <coughs> Jeff just pulled up. So I guess the Mandalorian walks around carrying the baby Yoda. I don't like that. I uh, mean, I think they I don't sh- like how close he is to his pelvis. Yeah, that, yeah it's a little that, weird. He's definitely getting reverse head <laughs> from that baby Yoda. Did you guys happen to see the store where they were, everybody was buying little, uh, like, BB-8 robots yeah, that you can, like, yeah. customize? Well, I remember I went back with my family, like, two weeks uh, later, and we met Chewbacca walking around. And nice. Some what was he like? Like that. Oh. I didn't ask what Sandy makes. Oh. I asked what he was like. Well, in his he, language. He spoke was, it in yeah. his language. Said, oh, what chill. does that word mean? Chill. Okay. He's chill. Yeah. And then we went to the robot place. $200, like... To customize base. it, it was like 150 as like the bottom, like just the the. If you buy the one that the head, body, legs, or whatever, but then when you customize it, that's when it starts pricing up very. And it's like fast. different colors, basically. Yeah. is all you can do. You they also have a lightsaber store too. Everybody had lightsabers on that one ride. That looked fucking cool. I um, there's a a um, a back door to that shop. Did you go in there? No. I saw a couple of ladies coming out of there with a strap on lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> this is Did not you? the butt plug we were looking for <laughs> dude i want to go back with you guys so bad i dude i was i was I, looking it up this week man i, I never saw, i never want to go with my family ever i just want to go with my boys <laughs> yeah. i saw because well, we were just talking about drinking around epcot yeah, and I'm so I, pissed at I, myself that I didn't do it. I saw another, like, a, I guess it was, like, a podcast clip or, like, somebody with a YouTube show. It's like, these three dudes going around doing that. Yeah. They got to the last one, and the dude got... Uh, he was too serve, drunk? Yeah, they wouldn't serve him. Wow. So he made it to every country except for Canada. Oh, man. You got to really <laughs> do it fast before the yeah. alcohol hits your system. Yes. It's 14 countries? Yeah, oh, I don't know, man. One one of each. You if it's pr- fourteen like light beers, but if it's fourteen like Dude, liquor drinks, I'd be also fucked. it was expensive as shit. It was almost five hundred bucks per or four hundred or five hundred bucks. No, I think for all three, two. It was like that's not that bad. So like the I figure I'd spend one fifty doing like the th- around the world. I think Germany and U.S. were probably like thirty six, thirty eight dollars around that price range. But everything else was closer to fifty. Like Jeff, you've stuff. done it, right? Jay, can you let him use that? Yeah, speak on his experience. Yeah, we actually went. Uh, two of my friends got married in Disney World, and like the day after the wedding, we all like drank around the, the world. whole party. Yeah, basically, it was like everyone that was invited to the wedding. We just did like one giant drink around the world. Fucking a! Is that where you by you the end of start it? Start in Canada and go uh, the other and way. Go the other way and end in yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Oh man, why is that better? Just to stick it to them for crossing our border. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Can you imagine? 14 countries? Yeah. God damn. Like, by the end of that, you probably feel like somebody slipped you a Mickey. <laughs> Mickey and Jake. Mike, do you think all 14 cu- countries offer a non-alcoholic version option for you? I don't. I got to imagine that, like, any of the cocktails they can just do without liquor. Like, you would just get a fucking sour mix. I know, but I'd end up spending 100 bucks on (laughs) apple juice. (laughs) And throwing up. (laughs) (laughs) Heartburn. Yeah, Yeah, it's, um, who knows? At one point in my life, I may end up getting drunk. Oh, my God. And if I do it, I will do it again. Um, I will have to do it at Epcot. Yeah, I'll have I mean, to do it at a place where uh, you're not really supposed to do it like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting Why don't any you younger. Get your training wheels at a local bar first. <laughs> no, because I I can't call for coke in Epcot. Something, something <laughs> tells dude, me you're gonna try. Is that I would, Pluto? dude. Imagine like having to pay your coke dealer's admission fee to Epcot. <laughs> Just to get him in case you can get a fucking eight ball. He's a bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, Are you not allowed in and out? If you go into Epcot, can you not go in and then come back in? I, I think you can go to the same park the same day. Okay. Uh, you can if you, you forget can, something in your car. Yeah, I think they have yeah, a yeah, sorry, area. I forgot my Coke dealer in the car. They have like a <laughs> <laughs> they have a smoking area. I think right outside of the parks for you where you can go and then come back in and then come back in. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that would be uh, that would be a nice. Tr- that's that's got to be uh, a good deal for drug dealers in Orlando. I wonder how often they get access to the parks to meet people. In I'll there. bet you if you're a Coke dealer in Orlando. You probably just have a. Please don't. Please don't do it again. Oh God, it smells worse. Sounds like it's going to smell worse. Um, 
You probably just have like the yearly parking thing. Yeah. So you don't have to pay yeah. every time. Yeah. And then just charge an extra 10 on the bag. Yeah. I just watched a video today of a guy. He got stopped at the gate to Magic Kingdom because for the gun that he, he was trying to bring in two guns, but he also had bags of Coke on him. I want Mickey to sign them. And he, uh, he ingested one of the bags of Coke so he wouldn't get caught with that. But uh, Wait, how did they catch him? For the guns. It was initially going to, because he had uh, one of those little... Uh, not versus. the parking gate, at the entrance on foot. Yeah, at the at security entrance. And they have the scanner and everything. Yeah. Who thinks you could walk in there with guns? If you saw this guy, you'd understand. Okay. Now, would he have been okay if he didn't have the guns with the Coke? Would he have gotten in with those, with the bags? If if he didn't have the guns but mm-hmm. had the Coke? Yeah, he would have gotten... No, yeah, they would have yeah, they like, never checked, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you can bring fucking weed in there without a they, problem. Yeah, they would never check, yeah. yeah. It's just weapons. Yeah, guns. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. dude. I'm Yosemite Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not this part? Did he part? have a giant mustache and a big... <laughs> he wasn't hat. even in trouble because they said, like, if you can show that, that you have... Um, that you legally own this gun because you haven't gone in there yet, like, mm-hmm. we could, we were just telling you to, to take it off the property and then you can come back on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he couldn't produce that. But then when they opened the fucking pouch, they saw that he had drugs. And then he tried eating the one bag. Uh, in front of them. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. And that's our donkey yeah. of the day right there. God <laughs> damn. He's like, no, it's not a felony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I yeah, I would do Coke there. Where do you picture yourself I just, doing Coke <laughs> in Epcot? I just have this gun Everywhere. with a bullet that says Mickey on it. <laughs> I of course Mexico. Yeah. What's your uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're starting. You're frozen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I know it's going to be snowing like this. <laughs> are you, uh, are you okay? Are no. you going into the bathroom oh. and just going into a stall and just taking like key bumps? I would be paranoid because I uh-huh. feel like they have cameras everywhere. And if anybody hears you, I know. In a that's stall. how they get people at sporting events. Yeah, dude, people get ready to that. that. Do Wait, that at good nights one wait, time what? in Raleigh. That's I fucked. was taking a piss and a dude was in the handicap stall sniffing and the security guard came in and was like, bro, you got to go. That's I hear, I hear what you're doing in there. Dude, leave him alone. I'm so oblivious yes, to that. I shit. thought leave him alone in that instance at a fucking comedy club. Who gives a shit? Right. Yeah. But you have someone who's coked up in the audience. Maybe. You, I, I, yeah. I would be able to keep it together. Sporting yeah. events, I feel like, dude, it should be loud enough in the bathroom that you shouldn't get caught yeah. doing a quick. I, know. I don't know? think I've ever picked up on, on someone <laughs> sniffing at a game. Yeah, flush the fucking yeah, toilet. Yeah, yeah. Play a fucking song on your phone while yeah. you do it. Man, it's weird. Every time he flushes the toilet, he goes, woo! <laughs> <laughs> that guy must be having one hell of a shit in there. <laughs> It's all right, partner. We're going to get through this. <laughs> Man, are you in the show? <laughs> no, actually, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out Tom Arnold if you guys are big fans. Yeah, I opened yeah. up for that fella a long time ago. Yeah. That motherfucker's huge, dude. He's a unit. Really? He's like probably 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, yeah. Definitely 6'3". Are you open for him? Yeah. How'd it go? He walked over the course of two shows, probably about a hundred people, <laughs> for being so bad or for being so political. Dude, just like incoherently rambling. Tom Arnold incoherently rambling. Yes, like when I asked him what he wanted me to say, uh, when I brought him up, and there's witnesses to this in the green room. Uh, he went like he went <sighs> and scratched his goatee. I'm not even fucking around. Maybe like sixty seconds. Until I was finally like, I was going to say like true lies and sons of anarchy. What do you think about that? And he was like, say I just did my 125th movie. Whoa. And I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying what I said. <laughs> but other than that, nice guy. Yeah. But uh, You should have went after it and said, uh, before I bring your next uh, the headliner up, I just want to let you guys know I just did my 125th movie. <laughs> <laughs> I said it, fuck face. <laughs> you can tease him a little bit. Oh no, I just ran it out, Tom Arnold, dude. Oh man, but I feel bad. Hope he doesn't come for me. It's so fun to do drugs places, man. Just everywhere you do them, it's just the best, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the only like unique place that I've ever done cocaine 
was the first time I did it at a music festival. Really? In Costa Rica. Ooh. And you know that shit had oh to be good. Oh, my God. God damn. Blood on. It's my 23rd birthday. <laughs> Whoa. And my boy was at the front of the crowd yelling at the DJ that it was my 23rd birthday. <laughs> and he got the entire crowd to chant, Venti yeah. Trace, Venti <laughs> Trace. Yeah, <laughs> nice. And Steve Aoki blasted him with a cake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dude, Venti Trace sounds a lot like Vinny Chase. Oh Whoa, my god, Jay. that's crazy! Oh my god, dude, I was in my fucking entourage era the whole time. Jeff, can you hit the nut button? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> dude, victory, bro! Thank yeah. you. Yeah, damn. What button did you hit? I didn't uh -oh. <laughs> and what is the nut button? <laughs> it squirts something in Jeff's face that, that would make him quit. <laughs> Jeff, don't hit the nut button. <laughs> Smells like bleach. <laughs> hit the reverse nut button. It'll squirt it at these guys. <laughs> It'll squirt it out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I want to thank our patrons for financing Jeff's Norlink. <laughs> yeah, we're in the kumquat hours now. Yeah, we truly are, baby. Yeah, we are getting some head. Yeah, I, I've had Disney fever lately. One of my favorite Disney YouTubers... He's been putting out a lot of good stuff lately. <laughs> what a sentence. Yeah, give us a give us a moment to <laughs> catch our breath after a sentence like that. One of our favorite oh man. He's been putting out a lot of great Disney stuff, as always. And it, it really just gives me the fever. And it's it's always inexpensive to get the Disney. Uh if you go with other people, that's when it becomes really expensive. But mm -hmm. um I might just go by myself because my wife can't get time off from work for a couple months. So I may just have to scratch that itch oh, man. solo. Yeah, and I've never gone solo, so I I might do it. It's nice to do something by yourself. I know it is. Yeah. I used to, dude. I used to go to Los Angeles every year by myself, at least once a year. Yeah, and would have the time of my life. I mean, for for Christ's sake, the one time I even bought a butt plug. Did you have the time of your life? I hated it. Was it at the uh, Larry Flynn store on Sunset? Uh, it was on Hollywood Boulevard. I think it was a Hustler store. No, Hustler, it wasn't Hustler store. Dude, I don't think, it might not have been Hustler. It was on Hollywood Boulevard. That's Larry Flint, right? Hustler Larry Flint? Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. But I don't know if it was a Hustler store or not. I know um, there's Hustler stores in the area. The one I'm thinking of is like near the comedy store where the like Sunset Bends. It wasn't that one. Okay. Yeah. Yours was like on the strip. Near Grauman's Chinese Theater. It it wasn't far from that. Where the fuck was yeah, I? There, I remember there was like a shop. They had a bunch of mannequins out front. It's in the beginning of Entourage. The, they're all dressed up. Is okay, it, yeah. Oh, that's a Debbie Hollywood? Mazur's uh, name, I believe, on that one. Let me just Is watch the intro. Is Hollywood? Is that what it was? Let me just watch the intro <laughs> casually, and we will find out. Don't play if it's If it's Debbie Mazur's name that's over that, <laughs> bro, I have that's, watched too much fucking Entourage. <laughs> Just, so, yeah, have the sound down so we don't get hit with a uh, copyright strike. <laughs> oh, I got called out for buying the movie because it's not on Max. So you got I, called out by who? My wife, like, hey, are you paying <laughs> per episode to watch this? I was like, no, I, no. I just That's saw just the a one-time fee. And I needed closure. My, my, my yeah, the movie baby. was really not as good as I... Uh, I still haven't seen I, it. You know. I do have it, was, to it was a giant piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah. I do have to commit to the rest of the series. Are you still on, like, season four? Yeah, I haven't progressed. Jerry and Jerry, we trust, baby. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> on the arc light. Got Rex Lee on the Roxy. Very appropriate. That is cool. It's Piven. Oh, Piven. Yeah. Ah, fuck. That'd be amazing. Is that name isn't it? even in it. It looks similar because it was just a, a small, like, rose store. Yeah. You went fuck there. me. I'm not. All right. That means I'm... It's time to rewatch Entourage. You know what? No, to be fair, though, that could have been from an earlier season. No, this, they're uh, static throughout. Uh, I'm, the I, I had to have told you this, but uh, the one time I went to L.A. by myself is when they were filming the Entourage movie, and I called out Adrian's name, and he waved back. Did you give him the Rocky call? No, I, I, I say, yo, Adrian. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it was right by Chateau Marmont, right? Yeah. Well, it was, um, what is that uh, trolley car? Like a hot dog place? Uh-huh. It was right out front like a of train, there. right? Yeah. yeah. It was right out front of there. He was just milling about. And you were in a car driving yeah. by? No, a fucking a unicycle. I didn't know if you were on foot, dickhead. No, I was driving past. I had a uh, an old BMW that I rented from the lady whose Airbnb I was renting. 
There's deals you can do like that? It's the only one I've encountered. <laughs> <laughs> and I regretted it, too, because it was such an old car. And it just, <laughs> yeah. it smelled like shit. And it was just like, all right, I guess this is fine for getting around. But, and it wasn't that great of a deal. I think I was paying like 30 bucks a day for it. It's not bad. But, I mean, for 60 bucks, I could have got like a newer small car. And I like to, yeah. to have that smell in my car. And I made the poor decision one time to get a compact car when I went to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just get, you know, it's the cheapest option. Dude, I couldn't even, like, the steering wheel was so far into my butthole. Yeah. It was. <laughs> That's not even anatomically possible. It, it was. Well, if you would have seen the way I had to <laughs> squeeze into this You might have rented a Sibian, Jake. <laughs> 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 yeah, no wonder this thing wouldn't go a fucking uphill. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, I got to where I was going. Put fucking wheels on it as fast as you can and get it out for this fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, fifty five dollars a day, <laughs> cheapest one on the lot. Man, it was bad. This is the largest automobile I can afford. I had to drive the steering wheel with like my elbows turned in and like, <laughs> like dinosaur hands. I can't them. believe you drove yeah. out of there instead yeah. of just being like, "Can I up this?" Yeah, I didn't. Usually, if you like just hand them a twenty at the counter, they'll upgrade you. Yeah, mm, you gotta be sly about it. Yeah, I got to learn these rules of civilization. You got to uh, put it in the, in the man's pants or the woman's breasts. No, no, no. What you do is you fold it up, you put it in your mouth, you give the man a kiss, <laughs> and during the kiss transfer, it ends. the 20 ends up in his mouth. And he doesn't even have to take it out of his mouth before he says, wow, a 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll never do a compact again after last time. Yeah. I couldn't even fucking pass trucks. Did he on choke the on the 20? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm not allowed back at Hertz. <laughs> I'm going to screw it up. I'll go to the counter, just do it suck and blow style. <laughs> Are you joking? Getting the purple. It's in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you pull out, did you eat half of it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it, tasted, it was a long flight. It tasted so good. Ah, <laughs> uh, classic riff, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> That's some classic kumquat hour shit right there. Woo, one of those DJ baby, <laughs> kumquat <laughs> drops. Damn. <laughs> I just, uh, in honor of um, the newest season of True Detective being such a piece of shit, I watched the first season again in the past couple nights, and that final Carcosa scene in the finale. Boy, is that spooky and well done. Riveting. But uh, when the spaghetti monster is like, he's already in Carcosa, and you hear his voice like coming from everywhere, and Rust is like, and the dude just keeps saying... <laughs> Come, come with me, little man. <laughs> come die with me, little man. <laughs> he just keeps calling him little, I little, little man. Come with me, little priest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd be so pissed if that guy kept calling me little. <laughs> Stop. I'm actually leaving. <laughs> I'm going. No, little man, come back. Oh, no, man. little man, come die with me. Yeah, you always want to be treated with dignity by your murderer. <coughs> yeah, so rarely does that occur. Mm -hmm. How would you kill somebody? Oh, my God. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would let him go. Yeah, nice try, Mike. All right. I'm not falling for that again. I forget what to say sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sue me. I'm just having flashbacks of Mike going, I'm thinking of starting an interview show <laughs> and just asking, how would you kill somebody? <laughs> I guess He's got I, the, the fucking Kramer <laughs> set up from the Dick Van Dyke show or whatever. Mike, yeah. this, this, how would you kill someone? <laughs> Mike, this is your trial, not an interview. <laughs> <laughs> I Cross examination. Would you? Do you have a, a method in mind? Wow. That was a better Donald Duck impression than you can do. Thank you. <laughs> I do have to meet with a Donald Duck specialist. Yeah. But, who man, that's rough. Um, Sounds like you need to meet with a gastroenterologist. <laughs> specialist. <laughs> what did you ask me if I have a style picked out? 
Yeah, of how you do the murder. And keep in mind, you don't have to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Like, I think there, there have been people, like, I have fantasized about people that I hate about killing them, and it's always beating them to death. No, if you, I'll tell you who they are when we're done, and you'll agree. <laughs> All right, if I was gonna do it, I'm uh, tying them to a chair, beating them up pretty good, mm-hmm. and then lighting them on fire and making their family watch. There was that so Jesus hard? Christ, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, that's actually a, a part of uh, this guy, the fantasy with this guy. Fire. No, beating Making, him up in front of his family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's got to be a little bit of a demeaning. Yeah. Uh, more so than just getting yeah. your ass beat. <laughs> like, I'm surprised, like, he stopped because, like, for a long time, and this was, like, a former friend. He was just, like, tweeting at me constantly. And then he was, like, calling me constantly. On the telephone? Dude, insane shit. To say mean stuff on the yep. phone to yep. you? Whoa. That's weird. You yeah. stop calling somebody once yeah. you don't like them. Yeah. Like, bro. Yeah. Well, I want to call my enemies on the phone. You got it's got to be surprise. You know. Yeah. Phone calls are painful right. though, so it is. A, <laughs> it is a good. Yeah, use he was force. thinking it too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he um, and it was a guy that had a wife and kids and like a lovely wife. It's a very like nice lady, and I just it was just hard to fathom what a loser this guy became, and just exhibiting that level of behavior just led me to some pretty pretty dark visualizations. Well, I'm glad they remain visualizations. Yeah. And that you're still here and not in... He is not worth murdering. Like, people say that all the time when, like, they see things escalating, like, he's not worth it. It's like, this guy is truly a loser. Yeah. The world would not miss him. He's not worth it. If you can't hear me clearly, it's because I'm hiding my nose and mouth from my (laughs) fart still. I'm just picturing my wife yelling that as I'm getting my ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, who are you saying it to? <laughs> I am. I am worth it. <laughs> I'm looking up at both my attacker and my wife. Why don't you love me? <laughs> I just has you begging for more punches. Please. <laughs> I am worth it. Just keep hitting. <laughs> Cut my fucking head off. <laughs> Come die with me, little man. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are other random people. There was a guy that I think about often. You know, like, you'll you'll just get random rem- memories, like, pop into your head, and you're angry all over again. Oh, yeah. There was a guy that um, it was at a TD Bank drive through This doesn't help our viewers at all, but there's uh, in, remember where Borders used to be in Springfield? Yes, I know what you're That TD Bank about. right there. So it's like you have to uh, go down this drive behind the bank and make a left into the drive through banking area. A guy was parked on this drive, probably 30 feet from where you turn left to go into the banking lane. I just assumed he was pulled over. It was a guy in a van. Um, I, I waited for a minute. He did not move. So I drove past him and went into the single bank lane that was open. Yeah. As soon as I did... He floored it and came up next to me into a lane that was not open. However, he was like just staring at me and laying on his horn. And I had all the kids in the car. Just for. I mean, at that point, it's like, I think you could be angry. But then when you see somebody's got their kids with them, you're just like, uh, yeah, I'm going to let this go. And then also it's like you rationalize that it was clearly a misunderstanding. Like, how dare you not wait for him to get his shit together? I know. Yeah. And yeah. Stay behind him. So that's, that's one that I think about often. Yeah. Where like I really would have liked to. Had done something awful to that guy. Did you get a good look at him? I did. He was a uh, fat, strange man. Strange? What's so strange about the man? Looked a lot like you. Whoa. <laughs> um, no, that was too much. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, come to think of it, it was you. <laughs> you just stand me, bro. <laughs> Jake is, Jake is uh, an aggressive driver. Uh, dude, I, I screamed I at I like the way a, he drives. I do, too. I, I screamed at a uh, lady today. What was she doing? Chick-fil-A. She cut me off. I ordered Wait, my same nuggets, nuggets. Same exact. Nuggets. We can't, we're legally not allowed to sell you any more nuggets. I was cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got 86 from Sir, Chick-fil-A. I'm sorry. Yeah, you reached your limit. You got 80 chicks. <laughs> oh, dude. 
So I really, I didn't want to go to the gym today, and I did. And I was like, all right, because I did, I'm going Chick-fil-A. <laughs> rewarding myself by destroying all the progress I made yeah. every single day. and uh, Neutralize it. I go... <laughs> <laughs> I order my food and it's like a one single lane drive through and I see this lady just pull into the drive through like after I had ordered and like after you know what I mean like she's, she's not even no, having she, access to the screen or exactly. the, the box yeah. yeah so I was like what the fuck and I was like oh she's probably pick up an Uber Eats order I get that but you still have to You're check in You're still supposed to say something yeah. at the box yeah and I'm like what the fuck No and, this lady's getting your and, order dude and dude <laughs> and yeah but she has to pay so, for it though yep, yeah, yeah so I'm like okay I'm not freaking out about it yet Whole time she's eating another chicken sandwich that's not that's clearly Wendy's because there's one right across the street. Real pig hours. I'm watching her do this, and we just talked about this like a week ago. Yeah. So I was like, kind of like laughing, and like it, I calm down. Yeah. She goes up to the window, and I hear her go like I'm expecting to say, "Hey, I'm here for John or whatever," mm -hmm. and she goes, "Hi, I didn't know how to enter the drive-through, uh, uh, yeah, so fuck. I I just need to order some coffee." And the guy's like, oh, well, we don't want you to have to go back around oh and takes her fucking order. Meanwhile, dude, I got there at 9-11 because it's my favorite time to look at the clock. So I knew it was that time. And I left at like 9-28 after waiting. I ordered at 9-11. I, I left at like 9-28. And this lady That's held you up that time. long? That's right, Mike. Oh, 14 minutes of my life gone. Yeah. And she just got coffee? Did they brew it right then? I don't, I don't, yeah, I guess so. Was yeah. the Wendy's in, uh, that was a vis visible yes. from the Chick fil A? Yep. Right across Love the street. that. Yeah. And if, Wendy's Joe ain't good enough for her? I get, I mean, I, it's not. After you ordered 9 11, did you like make one of those phone calls, like, uh, leaving a voicemail, like, hey, sweetheart, it's me. I don't, I don't know when I'm getting home. This doesn't look good. <laughs> I just no. want to tell you I love you so much. I did. I did. Uh, Fifteen minutes later, put my car in reverse and order another meal. He's ordering a second meal. <laughs> <laughs> he told him we're out of nuggets. <laughs> Hearing yeah. Chick Fil A workers smash on the pavement. Uh, but I was. Uh, it was my it's one of my best friend's birthdays today, and uh, so you went to Chick Fil A by yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the phone with him, like doing a happy birthday mm. call. And like explaining the situation, and he's on the speakerphone yelling shit out, like just joking around. And the guy fucking heard me, gave me two sandwiches, like uh, cards for Aww. sandwiches, yeah, to give to him for his birthday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's already redeemed. Everyone already signed it. <laughs> so that was nice. Oh man. Well, it's Mike, it's time for you to go take a shit so we can watch a movie <laughs> without you fucking stinking up the place. I don't have to shit. Why does everybody tell yeah. me that? Yeah. But my body, <laughs> your body's telling me, yes, you do. I don't know how to hog time. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a ton of fun as usual. Classic kumquat hours, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, classic riffs, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Fucking tasty jams. Ladies Ooh. and gentlemen, I'm going to be in Indianapolis in March, March 22nd and 23rd. Might even be there on the 21st, um, opening up for somebody else, hopefully. Nice. But uh, if you live on planet Earth, please come to the fucking show, dude. <laughs> I need 50 people each night. So if you live there, bring 49 fucking people with you, please. And come both <laughs> nights. <laughs> uh, next weekend, I'll be at uh, Paxson Hollow Country Club, which is around here. Oh. With... Uh, Pat House and Mary Radzinski, so that'll be a fun time. And uh, I think in middle, like I think three sixteen, uh, doing Jimmy G show at Fat Lady, the up, uh, upstairs show. At, the best. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So come out to that. Thanks, guys. Hell yeah, baby. How about you? And um, yeah, if you're watching this on Patreon, uh, <laughs> Sunday night, February twenty fifth, uh, me and my dear friend Tim Butterly, we have a show at Helium Philly. We're going to be there with uh, Drew Montana, Rob Cruz, and Naeem Ali doing stand up. Nice. Uh, that's Sunday night, February 25th. And then also Jake, John and I are going to be coming up to Boston on April 5th at, uh, the white bull tavern shipping up. I can't fucking wait. Yeah. And, uh, tickets are going fast. Like this, the show nice. is going to sell out. So there's a link in my Instagram profile. There's a link in my, uh, Twitter profile. Do you guys have the link posted somewhere as well? I will no, post it, will. Tonight. I'll put it on my Instagram. Right, yeah. But yeah, um, we're going to be in Boston at White Bull Tavern, April 5th, Friday night. I can't wait to come back. I had a blast the last time I was there a couple of years back. Yeah. Oh, I'll also be doing some shows around here. I got a show in Media, Pennsylvania at Sligo on March 1st. That's coming Ooh. up in a week or two. 
And then I'll be at King's Highway Comedy Show at 1675 Spirits. Yeah. Their shows uh, are always Ben great, Salem. Yeah. yeah. Great shows. I'll be headlining place. both of those places. That's nice. on March 7th, I believe. It's a Thursday. I'm proud of you guys, man. Awesome, dude. Thanks, baby. You guys are cooking, baby. Yeah. Oh, too, also, man. check out my book, we All Perks. Cooking. If you haven't bought it yet, uh, go to O-N-P-E-R-C-S dot com. Get a copy of my book. Also at onperks.com. Listen, I got a little ass dick. And for those of you out there, <laughs> for those of you out there that are afflicted with a, a tiny schween, stop feeling bad about it, man. It's 2024. 2024 is the year of the Light Switch King. To commemorate the year of the Light Switch King, I'm selling Light Switch King merchandise. I got fucking hoodies, t shirts, tank tops, long sleeve tees, fucking knit hats, trucker hats. You fucking name it. Anything that you could possibly put on your body to take the attention away from that little schlong of yours. But we're done feeling bad about it. It's time to feel proud about the meat that God gave us. Things could be so much worse. We could have big giant ears like fucking the big eared midget. But no, we got little ass dicks. And we're making do. We're making the best with what we have. We're... We're making lemonade out of, out of a tiny lemon. <laughs> <laughs> so go to allperks.com. Treat yourself to some Light Switch King merch. Come see us in Boston April 5th at the White Bull Tavern. And uh, if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you for becoming a patron. It means a lot to us uh, because of you were able to do this week in and week out. If you're not a patron yet, please consider joining the Patreon. It's the easiest way to support us. You can do so by going to patreon.com slash little stinkers. That's L-I-L-S-T-I-N-K-E-R-S. Get every episode a week early. You get extra episodes. We do live streams almost every week. We're doing mini stinker episodes, which focus on one singular fucked up funny event. We're doing book club live streams. We're doing movie watch alongs. So much fun shit. Any any stupid thing that we can fucking think of, we're putting on the Patreon. We're putting up extra content every week. So join us, support us, and uh, just get more more stinking bang for your buck. Yeah, and we got a Patreon exclusive uh, event. Event happening oh soon. Oh my god, the I event of the forgot. fucking yeah, century. We don't want to say the date or uh, details, no. right? We go to details Patreon. are on Patreon, yeah. but it's coming up in the month of March. Sweet Jakey boy is getting redemption in the foam pit, and I'll be doing a kickflip out front. And we're gonna have a pizza party afterward. Yes. So this is for patrons as a token of our appreciation for you. Show up. We're we're gonna if the first twenty five people that want to fucking jump around with us, we got you covered. We'll pay for that. Um, if you just want to come hang out, just come fucking hang out. Sit yeah, if there. you don't want to jump, you don't have to pay. You don't have to fucking sign do a shit. waiver. You just come in and watch us struggle to get in and out of this thing. <laughs> and then and you can get lost in the same foam pit that I got lost into. Which uh, is, how romantic would that be? I mean, be? come on, guys, it brings us closer together. You know. And then after, what after if we all kissed in the foam pit, we're gonna transfer the same twenty <laughs> to each other's mouth around the foam pit. <laughs> but yeah, all patrons are invited to join us uh, March eighteenth at. at the oh, no. place that's mentioned on Patreon. Yeah, the date you said was different than the date we talked about, I think. Oh, is it? All right, yeah. disregard that information. Just check out the Patreon. <laughs> the information is already on the Patreon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go yeah. check it out. It's a pizza party. It's a foam pit party, followed by a pizza party, and we're going to have a blast. All for being a patron. All right. On behalf of uh, the Big Eared Midget, on behalf of the uh, cashier that had to see me buy a butt plug from him. On behalf of Boo Hill Casino and, uh, <laughs> in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, Jacob Fermatera, Jeff Simmons, John Del Calo. Uh, I love you guys, and we will see you next week. Bye. There's so much fucked up shit to get into. Thank you.